taking a look at the uh, 2011 wild card game, Indianapolis versus New York Jets. 10 to 7 football game here in D. And a third and seven opportunity for Sanchez. He was hot in the third quarter. He completed five of his six throws. Now the Jets are inside the 50, so they're in Colts territory. 11 personnel with that extra tackle slash wing back on the right side to block. The drop for Sanchez. It's not there. Instincts to LT to dish it out. Heady play by Mark. Very uh, poised play for Mark for a quarterback who wasn't necessarily known for being so. The Colts elect to play coverage. Sanchez surveys down the middle of the field and then makes the decision to flip it to LT for the first down. Brings up a new set of downs for New York. Brad Smith is now in as the Wildcat changeup. They're going to run a little option with Smith. Dishes it to LT for a gain of three. Sanchez back under center. We're thinking run in this situation. And that's exactly what it is. They're going to back to their second horse in their stable, Sean Green, who's also having, you know, a a, so, you know, a solid but relatively quiet game behind LT. So Green stays in the game here. Schottenheimer getting into a groove. Third and short for the Jets. And let's see what happens. Sanchez directing traffic. Boot action for Mark. He gets out on the wing in terms of being an athlete. Takes what's there and he gets the first down. Sanchez showing elements of a explosion out of the fake. Something that he was always stellar in. So we see the Jets are nearing the goal line of Indy. He's able to get outside relatively quickly and then he just eats it and takes what's there. Brad Smith back in the game at quarterback. This time gives it to Green who gets one yard. There's a shot of Peyton. Frustrated, obviously. As he watches the young Mark Sanchez play with poise down the stretch in the second half of this contest. Not being asked to do a whole lot, but still playing good football. Again, over the middle to Keller. Great throw. Let's rewind this back. Hard full body manipulation fake to move this linebacker right there. Opens up the window for Keller. Ability to gain yak yards by doing so. So this was Sanchez at his best. Something that he was brought up on by Mission Viejo coach Bob Johnson. Something that he was able to do at SC. Under center, three-step drop, decisive decision-making balls out. That's what he does best. Or I should say, what he did best. Eyes to the right. There's the manipulation. Comes back to Keller. Jets are inside the five-yard line at this point. They're going to give it to Green, who does a great job in terms of getting what he can get on that play. And when we've got second and goal for the gang, Green. Down by three in the fourth quarter. They run it again to LT, and why not? He's been carrying them all second half. Third and goal with 10 minutes to go in quarter number four. Manning starting to warm up on the sideline there for Indy. Again, LT, and he scoots in for the score. So timely key completions and, and heady plays by Mark on that drive, and then finishing it off via the run game. That's LT's second touchdown on the evening. All right, so the Jets have the lead. And let's see what Peyton and Indy can muster up here. Nick Folk kicks it deep. And here we go. First and ten. Let's see what we got here. Looks like there was a play being run right now. No, there wasn't.
Joseph Adai, it looks like. 11 personnel, rip strong trips, and they run it weak, and Adai finds a lane up the zero hole. Sets up second and short for Indy. Nine minutes to go here in the ball game. Running in again, smart decision against the coverage, and they pick up the first down. Too high safety look for the Jets. Let's see if they run it again. Play action against too high. Manning surveys, doesn't like what he sees, comes all the way back to Pierre Garçon, who looks like he, he runs an inside release out. He gets inside on Cromartie, then he bends it out as Cromartie bails with him deep, and it's there all day. 13-yard pickup for War Indy. Great throw by Peyton. And a great catch as well. First and 10, new set of downs for the Colts. Surveying Peyton is, changing up things just a bit. Eight minutes to go in the game. Stretch again to a die, some sort of a leverage advantage, and they, you know, he picks up five yards. So, or three rather. 11 personnel again for Indy. Play action. Looks like it was a run. And he's going to take a die quickly. The pressure was coming. That Jets defensive front four. Let's see what they can muster up. Just the the front four. And they're able to you know affect Manning just a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Good defense. Third and seven. Again, they run it on third and seven. Something that the Colts did often in this game. When you think it's a passing down, third and long, Manning audibles it up and he runs it against a two high safety look. In this case, a three high safety look. Manning oftentimes did this throughout his career with great success. So here we go. First and 10, 40 yard line. 11 personnel again, straight drop back, three and a hitch, and he's taking a shot deep. Not a horrible throw, a little bit off, but the coverage was tight. He was leading Garcon away from any sort of leverage there. So, let's see the route. He gets inside. Does he flash his eyes? He does not. He just tries to get vertical. And... Manning throwing it away from the free safety because he thought Leonard would possibly get there in time to intercept it. So, can understand why he did that. Second and 10 for Indy here. At the 41-yard uh, line of New York, another audible for Peyton. And they're going to run it, and the Jets make a great play to stall the run in that situation. So we've got third and long for Indy. Three-step slant, bread and butter, and you could have seen that play coming from a mile away. Man-to-man -man coverage with Cromartie. Let's see if he bails. He certainly does, and the slant's there, like we talked about in the first video of this game. Whenever cornerbacks bail, show man and bail, slants are there, any sort of in-breaking route is there, and it certainly is there. Jacob Tammy, the tight end here. He doesn't get outside. He he cuts inside of this defensive end to influence Leonard to make the window that much bigger for Garcon. So that's an all slant with Tammy getting an inside release and just occupying defenders. Great play, great throw by Peyton. Six minutes to go in the game. Colts are driving with a big completion from Manning to Garcon. You think they're going to run it. They don't. They go play action against a too high safety look. This is a good throw. This is a great play by Leonard, though, as well. So the ball's out immediately. That's a bang-bang play. No pass interference call. But a solid read by Leonard. Tammy's upset, but a great play. And that's a solid throw by Peyton as well. So just across the board, a great play. Ah. Jeez, that was close. So second down and 10. 
audibling again, Peyton. The master of playing chess out on the football field. The play clock winding down. Stretch to a running back there. That was not a dime. That was somebody else. Five minutes to go. 11 personnel grouping again for Indy. They're driving. They need a score. Deep safety look for the Jets. Manning pointing that out. 11 personnel again, and they're running it again. And they're not getting what they wanted to get. So they had to settle for a field goal. 14-13 Jets. <clears throat> Sanchez and the Jets start out from their own 20. In 21 personnel, twins to the top of the screen. Running it on first down to Sean Green. As you can see, both Green and Tomlinson had solid days rushing-wise. Sanchez changing something up. They're running a stretch to Green, and he gets some solid yardage. They're cutting back against the over-pursuing Colts defensive front four. And, you know, and he's able to make it a positive play. Big play in the ball game here. Third and medium with three minutes left to go. Sanchez in the gun. Looks like it's quarters coverage. Man to man. Santonio Holmes goes in motion, comes back. It is man. One, two, three balls out. It probably should have caught it. Correct throw, correct read. Not in the best spot and with the best trajectory. But he still needs to catch the ball. So, See the instant replay. We've identified its man, so we know where we're going with the football. Holmes just drops the ball. The Jets punt it away, and Manning's got one last shot to try to come up big. Now, did something happen on that last play? Something did happen. Look at this. On the punt, the Colts are penalized, running into the kicker. <laughs> Wow. Look at this. A boneheaded play that more than likely led to Jim Caldwell's firing. Running into the kicker, Manning would have had a chance to go down and, and, and score. More than likely would have with a field goal minimum to take the lead. But the Jets get the ball back after a penalty. And Manning is beside himself on the bench. Brad Smith in at quarterback yet again for the changeup. Option play. He's going to keep it. He's going to make something out of nothing. Sanchez back in the game. Here we go. Third and five for Sanchez. Sanchez in the gun. We can expect Indy to bring some sort of pressure in this situation. Motion for Jericho Cotri, 20 personnel. One, two, three, balls out, and a good throw here. Braylon just, you know, just overshoots Braylon by just a step. But it's not a bad throw. So the Jets have to punt it. Now, Peyton gets the ball back, but they're in slightly worse field position and obviously with less time than they would have been. There's Mark Brunel. Take a look at this shot here. Mark Brunel, Mark Sanchez, and Kevin O'Connell. Mark Brunel, O'Connell, and Sanchez. Wow. Look at that. Banning gets one last chance. 11 personnel again for Indy. Three step. Balls out, throws the out to Tammy. It's there all day by design. A safe throw to the sideline, out to Tammy. So 
So the Colts are moving here in a pressure-packed moment. Still in that 11 personnel. Hitting Tammy on an under route, safe throw, nice read. Get the ball out of your hand. First and 10 now, approaching midfield, nearing the two minute mark. Hand off to a die, positive yards on the play. And we've hit the two minute warning. Adam Vinatieri ready if need be, just inside the 50. So you'd be thinking that minimum they're going to be able to salvage that running into the kicker now and at least have an opportunity for Adam Vinatieri, especially after a big completion like that. Manning to his slot receiver, calm in this big moment, inside release curl route from the slot against you know a double safety look, it's there. Great timing and anticipation and trust Peyton Manning in this situation. First and 10, handoff to a die out of a spread shotgun alignment. Second and long for the Colts. At the 35-yard line, so they're already in Vinatieri's range. Safe tunnel screen throw, and they gain two to three yards. So third and medium now. And Manning needs to come up big in this spot to at least hopefully convert this play or at least not make an egregious error. Minimum. The Jets are invariably sending pressure. A design rollout. Oh, and Manning attempts it to his target. And he's mad that his guy dropped the football in this situation. And here comes Vinatieri. Now Manning, let's go back to this throw. So a design sprint out, hitting the out. And the ball's a little bit low, but the route wasn't the greatest. Why is he running the route so deep? You need to get eight yards. All you got to do is run it to the first down. Manning's arm, not elite. And the ball dies on him because it was a corner route that wasn't cut off early enough. And that's why he's so pissed. He needs to cut it off early. And Manning just undershoots it just a little bit. And then the receiver doesn't obviously come up with the catch. So here is Adam Vinatieri. Let's, let's see if he can take the lead for Indy here in this situation. He's indoors. Fourth and six. And let's see if Rex is going to try to freeze him in this situation. Sanchez on the sideline. And Vinatieri makes it. So it looks like I went ahead just a little bit too soon there. So Manning able to come up big in the fourth quarter and to position his Colts team to at least take the lead via a field goal. Let's see if we can actually see the field goal. Okay. This is a 50-plus yarder, and they don't even show it. Okay, but he makes it. He makes the field goal. All right, so the Jets got one last opportunity, and Cromartie looks like he makes a pretty darn good return of the football in this situation, returning it all the way to the 45-yard line. So Antonio Cromartie coming up huge for the New York Jets here, the end zone view of it. Special teams coming up big for the Jets. All right, here we go. 45 seconds left for Nick Folk to get an opportunity to win the football game now. So ultimately, it came down to the Colts' special teams that lost this football game or put the team in a position to lose it. Sanchez, big-time throw to Braylon. Again, pre-snap decisiveness, quarters coverage. He knows he's going to the slant, top of the screen, pre-snap. Great throw, timing and anticipation. All slants there. They're saying that he dropped it, but it looks like he caught it.
Great play by Braylon. And he dropped it. Yeah, he certainly did drop that ball. And they're going to run an official review. And that play will be overturned. Long review on that play. So it looks like they they counted it as a catch. They counted that as a catch. How do they count that as a catch? How? Wow. Okay. That was a catch. Right there, it gets popped. Right here, it gets popped. See this? The ball comes loose. It was a fumble. Okay, because he took two steps. It was a fumble. Okay. Perfect. So that's solved. Second and one for New York. All right, second and one now. Man-to-man -man coverage across the board for Sanchez. They're throwing the football ball out of his hand again quick to the hitch to the left. In a groove all second half, Sanchez was. Had a very up and down, mostly bad first half, but in the second half he's finding a, a groove with quick hitting, three-step hitch routes, slant routes, hook routes over the ball. Not asking him to do a whole lot, but he is showing the ability to make quick decisions and utilize his feet and his quick release here. First and ten, running the football with LT. Manning over on the sideline, nervous as can be. Watching his defense and his special teams fold under pressure. Second and eight. So for Colts fans, this is not a game that they would want to ever relive. But because of the magnitude of Mark Sanchez beating Peyton Manning in a playoff game. Now... There were lots of other factors at play with the Colts' defense and special teams letting Manning down. But it was not a great game by Manning. He made a few big-time throws, had that big drive there to set up an Adam Venetary go-ahead field goal. But right here, Sanchez making a big throw down the field. Again, three step balls out. Great throw by Sanchez. And the Colts played man again. So Sanchez has essentially set up the Jets for a field goal. And it's been all Sanchez on this drive, throw after throw. This is good Mark Sanchez, something that was not readily available for the Jets fans. And now they're bringing in Nick Folt to win the football game, and there it is. There we have it. The New York Jets, Mark Sanchez, go into Lucas Oil and beat the Indianapolis Colts, in large part, to their defense, LaDainian Tomlinson, and then Mark Sanchez coming up big in the second half.